بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بناء على طلبكم طالبات العزيزات راح أبدأ بعمل فيديو توضيحي وشرح للمحاضرات اللي الأولى أعتقد محاضرتين أو ثلاثة So this is the first lecture of the second course It is about consonant sequences starting from page 64 before now our discussion of consonants was concerned with the actual description of consonants I mean how do we pron pronounce the consonant where do we pronounce it voicing and some other points now we need to talk about the clustering of consonants I mean consonant sequences cases in which consonants follow one another is this sequence uh, randomly made or we have rules that take care of these sequences so the question is Can consonants follow each other in a syllable? Let's have an idea about consonant sequences in our mother tongue, in Arabic. In Arabic, for example, consonants cannot be clustered together in initial position of the syllable. That is, under the onset of the syllable, we may not have consonants one after the other. This means that Whenever we find a consonant in Arabic words, we should normally start with a consonant, then we have an, a vowel after that consonant. So that the most frequent type of syllable in Arabic is CV, which is actually the most frequent in, in most languages, if not all languages. This is called the basic syllable type, CV syllable. So in Arabic, we cannot have consonants one after the other. At the beginning of a word or under the onset of the syllable but in English no we may have consonants one after the other initially and finally as well <coughs> sorry so let's before that define a consonant sequence or a consonant cluster if you like the same what do we mean by consonant cluster A consonant cluster is a sequence of more than one consonant that are pronounced smoothly all together without any vowels between them. The word stay, for example, has a sequence of two consonants in the beginning, in which we have the consonant se and the consonant te. They are combined together, clustered at the beginning of the word without any vowel between them. On the other hand, we have the word next. This word has a sequence of three consonants in the end of the word, which are ke, se, te. This is a final consonant cluster, and this is an initial consonant cluster. So a consonant cluster is a sequence of um, two maybe three, four consonants, one after the other, without any vowel between them. Let's look at these notes. First, not all languages allow consonant clusters. And we have uh, seen an example in Arabic. No initial clusters in Arabic, but in English we have. Two, a cluster may include two, three, or even four consonants in English words. Three, the structure of initial clusters that is in the beginning is different from final clusters and we are going to see the, these differences. <coughs> Now we talk about initial sequences that are sequences in the beginning of the syllable, in the beginning of words, if you like. Initial consonant sequences in English are two or three maximally. Okay, they are arranged one after the other without a vowel between them. 
Initial two consonant sequences are of two types. The first one should start with se sound. This is a condition. And may be followed by seven consonants, which are pa, te, sorry, pa, te, ke. And for more details, you may look at page 64. You are going to find the other seven, um, the, whole seven the whole seven consonants that can follow the sound se. The second type is, this, is the one that start with a set of consonants like pa, te, ke, ba, de, ge, and followed by one of le, wa, ra, ye. And if you want the examples, go to page 64. <coughs> now, let's look at these notes again. Not all consonants can be part of consonant sequence. So, we have lots of consonants in English, but the question is, can all these consonants be part of a cluster? No, not all of them. And not all clusters of consonants are practically found in English. Theoretically, there is no uh, problem of having pewe or dele. Nothing can um, make that incorrect. But practically speaking, we cannot have any word in English in which we have pewe, cluster, or dele. So theoretically, it's possible. But practically, we don't have English words with such clusters. Now, the most important question here is how to pronounce a consonant sequence correctly. When you have a consonant sequence, try to pronounce the first a little bit longer than usual. Make it longer than usual. In the meantime, while you are still making the first consonant, prepare your organs of speech to pronounce the second consonant. When you pronounce the cluster sepe, for example, in the word spy, we need to say a long se, then gradually close the lips for the sound pe, because pe, as you know, is a bilabial sound. Until the se is stopped, don't end the se until you close the lips for the pe, in order to make sure that there is no vowel, no gap, no pause between se and pe. Spy, spy. If we make a gap or a vowel, it's going to be supply, supply, and this is incorrect. It should be spy, spy, a long set, and then while you are, while you are still uh, putting your tongue in touch with the alveolar ridge, start to close the lips for pe. Smooth transition from the first consonant to the second. <clears throat> this is called the first consonant is being prepared. Sorry, the second consonant is being prepared while the first consonant is being pronounced. When se is still being pronounced, we should prepare for the pa sound. That's the correct way to pronounce a cluster smoothly and continuously without a vowel between them. This is a question, maybe um, you have already answered that question, but um, try to think again for those who didn't give any answer in the previous uh, time. There are two mistakes Iraqi speakers of English usually do when they pronounce a consonant cluster. What are they? Okay, thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck.